Greetings, friends and family. I'm Rob Chapman. Let's talk about uh, Dorje and go down a giant nostalgic memory lane trip because I just saw something and it really brought it all back to me and I've realised there are a number of cool things aligning. So I just saw uh, this reaction to the Catalyst music video. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another highly combustible reaction. We're jumping into something. Dorje. Catalyst, the official music video coming at us from Pat Steinen. Much, much love. Let's jump in. Let's check it out together. See what we got. That was really nice. And it made me think, wow, I can't believe people are reacting to this song, you know, eight years later. He's got like the most entrancing voice. I don't know what it is. Like, like my conscience is talking to me or something. Definitely got not what I was expecting at all. When you see something like that, I was expecting like demonic growls and things like that. But this is something wholeheartedly different. This is definitely a song with some feeling. And I gotta say, I'm impressed. And then I realized I'd written that track 10 years ago, almost to the day, for my wife for Red Tower, which was another project that I was in at the time of Dorje. I'd been studying a Marty Friedman arpeggio and scales uh, DVD. And there was an arpeggio that I loved that did this. And from noodling around with that arpeggio, I wrote this riff. And I realized it was it was a keeper of a riff immediately. I think Nat quite liked it, but she wasn't 100% sold. And I went to a Dorje rehearsal and the guys were like, what's that? And I said, oh, it's this new riff. It's a little bit like Aromancy, which was a tune we'd written before. And Rabia almost immediately came up with the chorus, which was perfect. <laughs> And the whole thing kind of fell into place really quickly. And, and I think we knew we had a good track, but we didn't really know that it would be as successful as it was. That was a huge wake up call. I will never forget uh, waking up because my wife is poking me in the ribs and her saying, you're at number one. I was like, what are you talking about? And she said, you're at number one in the iTunes rock charts and you're beating all these massive artists. I just couldn't, honestly, couldn't believe it phone the guys we were just like screaming and celebrating and you know like there were tears it was just unbelievably exciting to have something um just pushed so hard by all of you incredible people there are a couple of people that are unsung unsung heroes and some cool fun things uh, behind the scenes of the music video i wanted to share with you so first of all i wrote the song for red tower originally well i wrote the opening riff for red tower originally and uh, the lyrics are about um, my wife, <laughs> really. So what you don't know is that I had just got married and the video team that filmed my wedding was so good, I asked them if they would film a music video for me. And so the first video I ever filmed with Video Cafe was the Catalyst music video. I said, look, I need some kind of landscape that really sums up the vibe of the song. And they found me this place immediately on Gozo. It's incredible, so beautiful, salt pans. I was always amazed how many people thought it was a green screen. <laughs> I had to take it in for a minute and make sure it wasn't a green screen. What is this place? This is a magical place where everything meets. Look, you got desert, ocean. It's, uh, it's sand dunes that have solidified in, in Gozo. It's a beautiful location. I really love going there still and just remembering how sunburnt I got. And I, I'll never forget being like mega braggadocious and saying to the guy, especially being, nah, I don't need sun cream. I'm fine, man. Yeah, I've been, I've been to Malta loads of times. I got so sunburnt that the next day we were filming the music video for all and we had to do it in black and white because I was so red from the sun that the makeup artist literally went, I can't. I can't work with you, it's not gonna work. <laughs> so we had to do a black and white music video. The Catalyst music video was the first time that I really got to meet Luke because Luke had reached out to me through social media and we'd met for a drink in Malta briefly. 
And he'd, he'd introduced me to his studio, which at the time was in a different location. Anyway, I needed help getting drums, cymbals, uh, getting the band to the location with the generator. I'll talk about that in a minute. And all the amps. And Luke's dad, Victor, was so lovely, lent us the van. You know, we loaded it all up. And off we drove uh, quite dangerously down to this area in Goza where we shot the video. We wanted a generator and we wanted to play, like really play, so that we could synchronize perfectly with the music. And a lot of people said, why are they actually plugged in and why are they bothering to bring a generator? Well, we really cared about actually performing. Most of the times when people are in videos, their cords run nowhere. Everything here is like legit plugged in and it's a damn generator. But what you can't see is that around the periphery on, on the, the sort of the cliff top and to the sides are people fishing, watching us like this. And then there's this tourist train that comes around the edge of the cliff and shows people the view. And a couple of times it would buzz by and just beep beep and watch, you know, <laughs> as we're trying to rock out to this track. So huge shout out to Luke Grek and his father for helping to organize, I mean, speakers. Um, he coordinated with Olympus and got a drum kit. Um, Video Cafe for being incredible. In fact, one of the ways that we got some of the really cool shots was they took a drone, held it in hand and ran with it rather than flying it to use it as a kind of stable handy cam. That was the way to get around the rocky terrain and wanting fast, sort of quickly animated shots and things. I can't believe I wrote that riff 10 years ago and I can't believe that it still gets 1000 views a week, which means that in roughly three months, it's on target to have 3 million views on YouTube. That blows my mind and it's almost equal to the number of plays on Spotify, which is frankly incredible. I mean, that really is mad. The fact that it hit the billboard in America, the fact that it was a number one in England, the Europe for a considerable amount of time, um, the whole thing, it felt way beyond uh, anything that uh, the guys and I had ever imagined would ever happen um, for us with Dorje. And it was a really special moment. And I want to thank all of you for allowing that to happen in our lives, because arguably without Catalyst, without that really successful music video and, and the charting and all this kind of stuff, a lot of other things would never have happened. So it's deeply appreciated. Anyway, I just wanted to reminisce because it's super fun to do that. Thank you so much. Have a tremendous day. Chappers out.